number three and four, we're gonna solve proportions. So we're gonna cross multiply. I'm gonna take x plus three and multiply it by negative four. So to show that, I'm gonna do negative four times x plus three equals. Then I'm gonna take my x minus five and multiply it by this four. So I'm gonna have four times x minus five. So I did x plus three times this number, negative four, and four times this number, I got the distributive property donut. So I'm gonna distribute the negative four and I'm gonna get negative four x minus 12. Negative four times x is negative four x. Negative four times three is negative 12. I'm gonna distribute the four and I'm gonna get four x minus 20. Now then I'm gonna move my x to the left and I'm gonna subtract four x, subtract four x. I'm gonna end up with negative eight x minus 12 equals negative 20. I could have moved that negative four x over here, huh? Then I'm gonna move the 12 over and I'm gonna end up with negative eight x equals negative eight. I'm gonna divide by negative eight and I'll end up with x equals one. Right here, same thing, we have a proportion. We're gonna cross multiply our products. The products of the means equals the product of the extremes. So we're gonna have four times six plus two V equals four times two plus two V. So I'm gonna distribute the fours. Four times six is 24 plus four times two V is eight V equals distribute these pretty easy we don't have any negatives four times two is eight plus four times two v is eight v okay i'm going to take this eight v and move it over and what is going to happen to my eight v's they're going to cancel out so i'm going to have 24 equals to eight that is false so i'm going to have no solution if this were true it would be infinitely many